today. It is July 4th, and we are in Corpus Christi to go tour the USS Lexington. Well, this is good news. I thought I was gonna have to go back to my car to drop off my little friend, but only open carry is not allowed. So we are in good shape. This is the walk up to the ship. I'm told the ticket booth is actually up here where you pay to get on and it cost $10. Well, I've been to a lot of ships, but this will be the very first aircraft carrier I've ever been on. And here we are at the official entrance. Okay, when you first walk on the ship, it dumps you into some sort of hangar deck. Well, maybe not a hangar, but there's a lot of airplanes in here. Let's see, which way should we go first? So before we go up onto the actual flight deck, I'm choosing to go down into the lower spaces and I want to find the engine. That's what I really want to see is how big is the engine on this thing. But this is the first flight down. Well, the good news is the ship is well air conditioned. It actually feels really good down here and it is the 4th of July. Okay, after walking through an absolute maze, I'm finally getting to go lower again. I'm guessing the engine is still another four decks down, so this may take a while to actually get down there. And I finally found it. The entrance to the engine room. This is going to be my favorite part. Well, I've now made it to the engine room. And because this vessel uses steam turbines, they're not near as large as I was expecting as on like a normal reciprocating engine steamship. But this is one of the, I think four turbines the vessel has. It may not look like much, but this generates a lot of horsepower. Here's a map over here, the engine spaces. So inside the engine room here, we have high pressure turbines and we have low pressure turbines. I believe this is the first low pressure turbine and behind there, if we go around, it's either reduction gear or it's another turbine. No, it's a reduction gear. So the high speed, oh, that's a low pressure turbine. Anyway, this is the shaft coming out of the turbine and it goes into a very large set of reduction gears because the turbine is turning at a very high RPM. And then this goes out to the propeller shaft. And then we have the same thing on this side. This is another low pressure turbine. There's four total on board. Going to the reduction gear, which then goes to the propeller shaft, which is down there, the one with the stripes on it. They put the stripes so they can tell if it's turning or not. And now we're gonna head up to the grand finale the flight deck. Well, oh, this is a very cool exhibit. It's the USS South Dakota. And now we're about to go up to the flight deck. This is gonna be where all the airplanes are and probably the best exhibits on the vessel. And now we are officially Officially on the flight deck. Oh yeah, this is cool. Oh, we get to walk everywhere too. We have one of the airplanes from the Blue Angels. And if you're a fan of the movie Top Gun, this was his plane in the movie. It says Maverick and Goose on the side of the plane. Let's go around to the other side. Oh yeah. Oh man. 
Look how big the uh, air intake on the engine is. I'm gonna stick my head in there. Ah, that's really cool. Too bad there's not an engine in there. Or maybe there is, it's just plugged up. I am now standing on the very extreme front of the vessel looking towards the stern. And that's what you would see when the planes were taking off. And this is one of several Freedom Peel dispensers on board. Five inch, 38 caliber. And we're now on the stern of the vessel. We have a Cobra, very cool helicopter. All right, so let's go check out the bridge. Look at this, huh? I don't, I don't remember this. Pretty cool. Okay,